You have a minute, I need to talk to you about something. Hey. Um, look, I'd come back later, but it's really important. Is Abby all right? Yeah, yeah, Abby's, Abby's fine. I got a room at the Metro Court so she can recover and not worry about cooking or anything like that. Wow, that was very thoughtful of you. I, I didn't like the idea of her staying in her apartment by herself. I know, I know Brandon's in jail, but I got a feeling she'd be safer or she, she'd feel safer if yeah, people I'm sure, were around I'm, her. I'm sure she definitely appreciates that. It's nice. Well, I have to go to work because that's what I do best. I will see you later. Mm -hmm. See you later, Michael. I'll see you. Did you tell Sam about what happened? No, if you want to tell Sam what happened, that, that's up to you. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. Thank you. I just don't want people to start acting weird or feeling sorry for me. It's, it's over. What, what about counseling? Are you going to go through with it? Yeah, I'm going to make an appointment. Okay, that's good. I don't like the whole idea of this therapy thing, but I promise you, Mom, so I'm gonna go. Okay, don't, don't do it for me or your mother. You gotta do it for yourself or it's not gonna help. I'll do the work. <sighs> I need you to promise me something, though. And no matter what happens, you can't tell my dad what happened to me. He's a powerful man who got where he is by not showing his weakness. If you were to find out that I wasn't strong enough to fight off Carter, I'll never get his respect. You got nothing to be ashamed of. I don't want Dad to know. I mean, you got to do what feels right to you, but Sonny, I I'm going to tell you, nobody thinks that you're weak. Look at what you did for your mom when Jocelyn was born, and Morgan and Christina after the bus crash. It, it doesn't get much braver than that. Hi. Yeah. Brenda's not. Here. Yeah, well, her wedding dresses, which is no small feat considering the absurd amount of time I was given to pull this wedding together, and the fact that Brenda has a dress, let alone a custom-made one, is a miracle in and of itself. I I'll let her know. Oh, no, no. I had to call in several favors to make this dress happen. I'm not just going to hand it to you. Uh, I don't know when Brenda's going to be back. Then I'll leave it in her room. <sighs> Sorry, Brenda drives me crazy even when she's not here. She makes that happy. That's what matters, right? Uh, this wedding's a big deal for Christina and Molly. So putting up this whole thing is like a, a present to them. Okay, so tell Brenda that she needs to make a decision about the cake by tonight. If we wait until tomorrow morning to play the Brenda has a phone. You can, you can call and tell her yourself. Yeah, I've tried, Einstein. She's not answering. I know. Try leaving a message. Um. Oh, you know what? I just think your uh, your dad wouldn't want to know. Maybe, maybe help you out. Uh, you said this is my decision. It, it is your decision. I don't want to tell him. Let's leave it at that. I can't. Hey, dad loves me unconditionally. Yes, he does. We all do. Yeah, but he also has his doubts about me. That's why before it came out that Dante was a cop, he was talking about grooming Dante to take over the business. Yeah, because Sonny wanted a different life for you, a better one than this. No, no, no. He, he was going to give the business to a guy he barely knew because he didn't think I could handle things the way that he did or the way that Dante could. Look, if you were to find out what happened to me, that'll only confirm it. You know, I, I think it's actually opposite. Sonny deserved to know how strong you are for surviving. For not letting what happened in prison define you. You told him.